Were you a good CEO? I would think I was probably terrible and awesome at it. Do you think Barstool under your leadership was the best at getting value out of failure? Because you guys tried a lot of shit that failed. It was the pace of trying. ESPN fired us. It was pretty devastating, but we then turned that into a massive media story about this little upstart sports blog. That's one of Dave's biggest gifts, is Dave is a master at, at turning a story. Barstool is a cultural behemoth. Mm -hmm. People, they hate it, they totally. love it. Totally. Really yeah, I think when it. people love you and hate you, it's electric. And you you can grow really, really fast, and you can build really, really strong. Looking at the betting, like it seemed like that could have been a prison. The companies that didn't sell when they should have and could have are the companies that are like limping along. You want to be Yahoo or BuzzFeed. <laughs> or... Realistically, the number two, three, and four hire is incredibly important. Definitely. And I'm a number two. How can you be number two? You're the CEO. And you don't have to be number one. Dave could be the alpha. I don't care. It's such a lame ego play. Like, who cares? Would you do it differently? Knowing now what you knew. I don't know that we had another way out. I really gave Barstool my all. I had spent a lot of time at very big companies. It wasn't until after the acquisition it dawned on me that, like, I hated big companies. It just wasn't fulfilling to me. There wasn't enough adrenaline. What do you want to do with your life now? Me? Yeah. I don't know.